It has been an absolute pleasure having you on board and we look forward to seeing you one of our employees soon. On behalf of our captain and the rest of the LA Corporation team, we wish you a safe and pleasant onwards journey. We thank you, take care and goodbye. Thank you, Kirk. I'm home and I'm in my place and I'm just gonna start unpacking some of the things I've already started unpacking though but I'm just gonna continue unpacking some of the things and sorry I'm just gonna continue unpacking I don't want to say much because I'm not in the mood to talk but I am alone and I'm just gonna start unpacking and see where some of my stuff are I'm not gonna actually pack the stuff but just probably take it out and throw it all over so that I can see where certain things are etc etc mainly kitchen stuff so yeah <music> It is the next day. Um, I woke up at 5 a.m. because, you know, new environment. Dun, 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 dun. And I can't find the keys that are supposed to let me out of this room. So, <laughs> guys, I saw them. Remember that those keys I was using to screw my TV? Those are the ones. And the way my room is looking, I don't even know if I can find them. It's just two separate keys. So we are going to try and find them now and unpack because I need to throw out some of the trash. I have a lot of electronics on this bed. This is my UPS. I have to find, and this is into a near laptop. I need to find a way to place these things and keep all my cables so that I can find them easily. I think I'm going to keep them somewhere in the lounge, the kitchen. Let's go and see. Let's go. And see. So, kitchen is a non starter. Right. So, let me just put it all in here. Oh, I'm just a thing in the world. It looks like at the moment these are all clothes that need to be packed. They need to be packed. That's the TV. Moulange, there's another TV, so I'm gonna figure out what to do with this one. Send it home or just buy it something so I can watch it from in here. This is the closet. I'm still packing. This is us. So, yeah. Hey guys so my sister and her boyfriend just left they brought me some chicken in i've been loving this guys like i had chicken in some months ago and it wasn't as nice since yesterday oh the slaps anyway i haven't bought anything my fridge is still very much empty i will show you but it opens the other side 
my fridge is still very much empty they also brought me some fruit some apples oranges and some lemons i asked them for some lemons and then i'm just gonna eat and lie on the bed that's it for today guys i'm still tired i haven't finished unpacking my hangers are finished so yeah i'm gonna have some chips and eat and take a break remove my wig and all of that so yeah the shops earlier because i don't have pillows and there were no no more pillows so i have continental pillows now and i don't have any covers for continental pillows but i have pillows now a beggar is not a chooser i have pillows and they're gonna get so dirty because i've got like no covers no nothing ah. You know what guys, I'm going to attempt to take an afternoon nap because I woke up at 5am today, which is unheard of. But yeah, I'm going to try and take an afternoon nap and then I think that's it with my day. Uh, so far, it hasn't really registered that I've actually relocated because I've been inside since I got here, but in this house. And because most of my life at ESA was also very much indoors, it doesn't really feel that much different because I'm just at home just feels like i've moved not kind of like i've relocated i miss checker 60 i miss that so much and i also can't go shopping because i don't have a line so if i go outside i can't use data or anything to request my end drive so that's very leaving me in a very inconvenient place so i'm gonna watch youtube from my bed and try and take a nap and then try and find someone that can fetch me and take me to go by food because it is mid it is monday tomorrow and people are starting to work so i have to have my life sorted out at least have food to eat you know in the house so yeah that's the plan okay hey guys so i just came back from pick and pay um i first went to jagas like you guys saw or pick and pay tm whatever it's called now tm but jagas so that you know exactly why where, where it was nonsense just it was it. anyway so i ended up going to highland park and we got a few stuff so i'm just gonna show you what i got i want to tell you how much it cost because i really when i was you know when i was tra like trying to relocate i was really really appreciative of the people that told me how much they spent on things it made me like understand what what to have attached so let me find out which receipt is which one and then i'll tell you so i got this from sana this is in usd okay yes this is in usd so i got this three pack of mints this was seven dollars yeah okay it's extra lean i think i wanted regular mints but i fumbled on buying i bought chicken fillet um this was four dollars yo <laughs> so it's four dollars ninety three uh you <laughs> anyway guys i only bought meat that will last me a week because i'm planning to go to colcom over the weekend or like a proper butchery and buy meats because this is unsustainable anyway i also bought this pork chops these were three dollars <laughs> the lord is my shape anyway i bought myself a cucumber Okay, this was from the other pick and pay. Was this or this one? I can't find the price for this, but I got. I think it was the other pick and pay. I got this fish. This was six dollars. This was cheaper than the mints. Wow. So six bucks. Six dollars seventy eight. So seven bucks. Uh, broccoli. This was two dollars. Eh. <laughs> okay, guys, this is actually not as bad, but 
it's just you know when you speak in dollars you, it just sounds different and i got honey this was four dollars ten cents and then that was all i got from this pick and pay and then from the other one uh from the other pick and pay i can't find the receipt but i spent a total of 25 dollars i got quench mango i got pineapple i got greek yogurt i got some butternut and some salad dressing and some eggs these two eggs and that's where i got also lettuce and cucumber so all in all this cost me about 50 bucks yeah about 50 60 bucks actually 60 something yo yeah. <laughs> 60 something bucks plus if you don't have a car that means you're gonna in drive and closest for me will be like four bucks yeah so all in all this is like 70 bucks for just this but anyway i'm gonna go buy meat somewhere sustainable and then i'm also gonna buy fruit and veg somewhere sustainable even my town road i'm gonna buy that because i literally can't be spending this much on things i can get cheaper but i am happy because you know i can get into routine i can buy my things again you know so yeah let me just pack everything guys i also bought this nonsense means at pick and pay the one jiggers which is why i went to island park because my mom said i yama and i really really like mints and this is what i ended up getting i think it was a dollar but anyway so i think this is regular mints so that's why this is cheaper and that one's like seven bucks not buying extra lean mints again just going to a butchery makes sense you know because i can't leave this life look at this chicken in there the fits. This is what they are. The fits, the fits. 